Hey everybody, it's the middle of the week or close to it, depending on when I get this out. Work's been rough, and earlier today, I'm not sure if you heard, but someone was wrong on the internet. However, our esteemed rules advocate, Greg Zinn, who also does a ton of behind the scenes work that he doesn't often get credit for, reached out to me this afternoon and asked if I wanted to put out a video with a set 22 spoiler. There is no greater honor as a Star Wars CCG player than the privilege of spoiling a card. And also, Travis's kitchen is getting painted tonight, so he canceled our weekly game of Star Wars cards. One of my favorite things in Star Wars is seeing a character move from a niche or supplemental work in the Star Wars universe like a comic, novel, or video game into a primary work like a movie or show. It's happened a bunch lately with the Rebels cartoon characters being brought to live action in the Ahsoka series. It happened back in the day with Coruscant showing up in Special Edition after being named in Heir to the Empire. There was even a little boy named Corrin in the Obi-Wan series. You can call it fan service, but it's the kind of thing that makes the universe feel more connected and real to me. Book of Boba Fett had no shortage of this type of stuff. When a live action Cad Bane appeared on screen, I was blown away. I felt like anything was possible. But I'm here to talk to you about another bounty hunter. That's right, Black Kersantan. Straight out of Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader number one. Uh, let me find the picture so you believe me. Here we go. There he is. First appearance of Black Kersantan, 2015. I'm, I'm legit. And here's the picture. Hopefully I edited it to make it pop up. So for those uh, who can't read, or if it's small because it's on a phone or something, uh, Black Kersantan, Destiny 2. Lore is Wookiee, Bounty Hunter, and Guard. He is Power 6. Ability 2, Armor 5. Il image is courtesy of Filippo Reversi. I hope I got that name right. Uh, deploy 4, Forfeit 5, which really means Deploy 3, Forfeit 7, if you're uh, playing Court. Vibro Axe deploys free on Kersantan. Power plus 1 while defending a battle. If a battle was just initiated here, each player who has four or more characters present with Chrysanthemum must choose one to return to hand. So between Black Chrysanthemum and the new Dan's Boren, I think Court might just have a shot in the post set 22 meta. Deploy free, forfeit seven in Court with six, sometimes seven power. Plus he's a bounty hunter and he's got the Vibro Axe text, which is reminiscent of Snuva, everybody's other favorite bounty hunter Wookiee. This is exactly the kind of card I like to see as a court player. I I also really like he's dark side, even though he's sort of a protagonist in Book of Boba Fett. Could have very easily made him light side, but frankly, a lot of characters that are interesting and stuff could very easily technically be light side. So I kind of like, you know, dark side can be a little bit more of a gray area sometimes too. Um, I like his anti-doom stack text. It seems cool. And I like that it triggers. You can have up to five character or will you, it triggers on five characters for dark side. Cause it's four characters with black Kersantan, uh, and light, whereas light side, it triggers at four characters. So they're only going to be able to keep three characters around. Um, yeah, just a, just a great, just a great little card. Um, I hope he sees play. Even if he doesn't, he's going to be worth, you know, trying out. Um, and of course, now that we have Black Kersantan and Dr. Afra, we need Afra's other minion, Triple Zero. Well, that's all I got for you today. This is about my third time trying to record plugs, so hopefully I can get it right. Uh, if you don't normally follow my stuff, uh, first of all, like and comment and subscribe on this page. Uh, there's some old videos of corn in the morning when I was doing 
uh, regular regular shows, and also uh, check out the Star Wars card concept album, uh, The Force is With You by Jedi Survivor, my semi-fictional band that sort of, exi- I got is it fictional? I don't know. Um, and then also KendallCast.Ninja is where all my podcasts are. Corin on the Horn is an interview show. Uh, Top 8 with Corin and Batmouse is a sort of comedy game show type thing that's Star Wars card themed. Uh, there's also old episodes of Bad Deck Breakdowns. We're not super active with that, but that's also Star Wars cards related. And then if you are anywhere near Columbus, Ohio, November 4th and 5th is Ohio Mega Worlds, a.k.a. Corellia Regionals and Ohio States. Uh, come on out to those. Um, yeah. Uh, until next time.